we're going to look at how to control your sprites to move and the kind of movement that we're going to program is moving towards your mouse so the idea is that the character scratch in this case is always going to move towards wherever our mouse is um, so at the moment i've got scratch um, but he hasn't got any programming at all um, i'm going to come over here and i'm going to go into the motion tab and i'm going to ask him first of all to point towards the mouse pointer um, and also i want him to move I always want to move towards that mouse pointer, so we're going to grab a move 10 steps block. Now, we've got uh, this little button here that tells me a bit of extra information about Scratch, and it tells me which direction he's facing in using this little circle here. So you can actually click and grab the line, and that shows you which way he's pointing. So when I ask him to move towards the mouse pointer, that little circle you should see rotate, and we'll leave that at the bottom there so we can see it later. All right. Um, at the moment I haven't got any events blocked so that it doesn't know when this is going to happen so I need to go to the events and say when go is clicked. Now at the moment this won't work. Watch, I'll click go and he'll point towards me but he doesn't move. So not very good. So there's something missing and the answer is he's only actually doing it once. When I click go he looks at the mouse pointer and he moves 10 steps. Watch, you'll see him. See, he's moving 10. Every time I click it he moves 10 steps towards where my mouse is. But I don't want him to do it just once. I want him to do it over and over and over again. So I'm going to go and grab a forever loop and just slide it in there. So now when I click go, it will keep looking towards the mouse pointer and keep moving 10 steps and then again and again. It'll keep repeating that forever. Right, let's click go. And now you can see that he's following my mouse around actually quite quickly and he's catching up quite quickly. If that was a bit quick for me and I wanted to slow it down, all I can do is just change that number from a 10 to a 5 or make it smaller generally. And you'll see now, when I click go, he moves a little bit slower. Obviously, if you wanted him to go quicker, you could put a bigger number in there. Now, look at the little circle here at the bottom. As I lead him around, he's actually pointing. He's pointing towards the mouse pointer. And you can see he's actually turning on the screen as well. If I want him to carry on following my mouse, but I don't want him to turn around upside down like this, I can actually change his rotation style. So at the moment, he turns fully around like this. But if I click this... He no longer turns upside down. He will go left and right, but he will no longer turn upside down. But if I don't want him to do that, I can click the little dot, and now he doesn't turn at all. He still follows the mouse. It still looks like he's turning on the little wheel, but actually he stays in the same direction. Um, for a lot of games that I design, I like to put this kind of rotation on, because then you don't end up with the upside down characters, but they still look like they're turning left and right. OK, um, that's all you need to know for that kind of movement. We'll look in future about how you might put that, put that into a game. But that's all for now.